Hi friends, Matt Dog 2012 here, and I have been asked by my good friends across the pond to show you and them what some good old-fashioned Mergen cooking is like. So right, that right there was an air fryer. It is a lot safer, a lot cleaner than using a traditional fryer. There's no oil in it. So today we're gonna make chicken wings, good old-fashioned chicken wings. I'm gonna do a couple kinds here. Um, the first of which is gonna be, we have uh, bacon wrapped chicken wings. And then I'm gonna do just my, my traditional uh, yummy chicken wings. So first thing you need, obviously, chicken wings. Good helping of them. The problem with the air fryer is that as you can see here, it's not very big. It's only about the size of my hand across. <laughs> So you can only do maybe 10 or less at a time. I don't like to, to overstuff it or your wings will just lose their crispiness and uh, you'll actually have to cook them longer and they become dried out. So the first thing you want to do is clean your chicken. I have already pre-washed the chicken. I am going to start the bacon wrap. And with the ones that are going to be bacon wrapped, you don't have to do very much. And actually, you don't even need that much bacon. I am just showing you the entire package here because that's what I like to do. Lemon, get out of the way. So, some things that uh, you definitely want to get are some nice, thick pieces of bacon. You don't want any of that bacon that's just going to fall apart or is just way too flimsy to use. Um, we're actually just going to use half, half of a slice of bacon. And wrap it around look at that all done put that aside and just keep going you know you don't want to overcomplicate this at all doesn't need pepper doesn't need anything else all it needs is a little bit of bacon and a little bit of love once you cook it in the air fryer it'll crisp up real nice It'll stick. It should stick. I don't know. This is the second time I've, I've made this, so <laughs> if it doesn't stick, I blame everyone else but myself. Um, but the reason I've only made it two times so far is that uh, when we have it here in the good old household, they tend to all be eaten. And that's not really good for, uh, for your belly. No, is it? No, it's not. So we'll we'll keep it at, I don't know, we'll do about half. The kids like them. The kids like bacon. They need the bacon. They need the calories. They need the weight. They need all of it so they can have as much bacon as they want. And eh, let's spread that out a little bit. So we want to have it, you know, overlap a little bit. If you... If you actually cut it this way, lengthwise, um, you will get a lot more wrap around the chicken. Uh, a lot more, um, if you cut it lengthwise, you'll get a lot more wrap and, and use, but to each their own, that's wrapped in a nice little blanket. We'll do, we'll do one more. This is a nice, nice good drumstick. So I prefer, when I'm eating wings, I prefer the flats. What do you guys think? And the reason I do is just, it just seems like a nice, enjoyable wing. I'm actually getting really hungry now. Um, the drumsticks are great, don't get me wrong, but I don't know, there's just something about having a nice flat and just tearing into that thing like there's no tomorrow. All right, so we're good. That's probably too many. I don't care. Maybe we'll just hide some. <laughs> Next step. So for the rest of them, for my famous uh, blend of, of spices, you can see some of them here. So super easy. I only have one, two, three, four ingredients. First of which is uh, zooming in and garlic. So garlic powder. You can see I use this a lot, it's it's empty now. I have organic ground black pepper. 
I have S. <laughs> Uh, Himalayan sea salt. Doesn't need to be Himalayan sea salt. It's just fancy. And then I got a lemon. Lemons are cool. Uh, I gotta wash this. I'll be right back. And... And I'm back. The important thing is this thing. I don't know what it is, but he used it to, to zest the lemon. Zest. Lemon. Zest. So let's get the wings over here in a nice, even a pattern. And we'll start with the garlic powder. So I use um, a smidge, maybe a little bit more than a smidge, a smoosh of garlic powder. Bam. All you need is a, a happy little sprinkle. Um, with the black pepper, a few happy little sprinkles and the salt. Don't really need that much salt. The garlic kind of brings out the saltiness anyway. And that seems fine. And let's do this. So I really don't have a, a, a <laughs> surefire way of getting this done, but I like to zest the lemon on top just to get some of that, that just citrus goodness going. And then what I'll do later is I'll just cut open the lemon and squeeze some more of that goodness on it. So a good amount of zest. It's going to just swirl around as we turn these wings over um, as well as all the other spices. So we're going to zest it again, but we're going to add just some more flavor on the opposite side of the wings. So let's go again. And I am sanitizing my hands in between this. Don't worry, it's my stuff. Leave me alone. So again, a sprinkle of garlic, a skosh of salt, a smidge of pepper, and lemon to your liking. Okay, so let's start with the bacon ones. The cool thing about the air fryer is how easy it is. So, so you want to coat the thing, and I use this thing. I don't know. It comes out. You can use this thing. I don't. I never read the instructions. Sue me. Uh, so I do, however, hate cleaning this thing. So if you want it to not stick, use a spray. Get some olive oil or some avocado oil, any kind of oil you want on there, and then just start lining the bottom of the pan, of the uh, oh, pan, whatever it's called, of the doodad. Then start adding your chicken wings. And like I said, look how big the chicken wings are compared to the surface area we have. That's math terms. I can math and cook at the same time. But Looks like we'll have just enough room. And if they don't come out perfect, you can throw them in the oven at about 200 degrees Fahrenheit for uh, the rest of the time that it takes to cook the other ones, and they'll cook inside. So depending on how crispy you like them, uh, you can definitely fix some stuff afterwards. So we're gonna take this over here, sorry about that. And... Everything out of the way, out of the way, bacon. So this basket goes in this slot. <laughs> of course, it doesn't want to go in that slot. So we will force it to... There we go. Air fryer turns on. All you do is press this button until... You see a picture of the thing that is in the basket. That is a chicken leg uh, or an ice cream cone or a guitar, but we're gonna call it a chicken wing. 20 minutes, 400 degrees, and that's all. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, everyone, so it's the final countdown. We're at zero, double zeros, except it's still going, still going strong, and here we go. Here comes the delicious goodness. Oh, 
Can you hear it crackling? Probably not because of all the fans that I have going on. But here we go. Very crispy. Very delicious. I washed this just so I could put it somewhere. And it really is that easy with any sort of, of wings. Um, I've used the air fryer for a number of things. I've used it for uh, like french fries. Uh, I don't know if I've used it for hash browns, but I mean it could be the, the same thing where it's just anything you would cook in oil. You could cook really pretty much in, in an air fryer. Um, really easy, 20 minutes, you have golden wings such as this. I went ahead, squeezed out the lemon on here, excited, gonna throw these in. But that's it for today. I appreciate you guys watching this. Hope you enjoyed uh, the bacon wrapped chicken wings. Be sure to uh, give a like, share it if you feel, subscribe if you want. I don't do this very often, but hey, maybe it'll be a thing. And as always, have a great day and we'll see ya.